Hey everybody, this is David Barnyard Bees. Let me try to get my tripod set up here first. <coughs> I'm still trying to get the hang of this tripod. I'm not used to using it. Um, what I'm doing today is we're going to go through a mini mating nuke and pull a queen out, put her in the cage. We have a customer coming to pick it up here in about a half hour. They text last night and they want to come pick it up today. So I've already pulled one frame out here so it'd be easier to. Um, our mini mating nukes, look at that big old hornet. Uh, and what we've been doing, as you can see down through the line there, I hope you can see it from the camera. These mini mating nukes, they work excellent. I've done a couple videos on them and I've had a lot of requests to. To make some more videos on them to explain them a little bit deeper uh, I'll put in the description look in the description I'll put the, all the measurements that you need to make these for yourself so they're very simple to make all they are they're just a they're just a, a, a smaller version of a regular nuke the heights the same the lengths the same the only thing that's different is the width and there's enough for two frames and just a little bit of play on both sides where you can work a little bit but not much to respect the B space enough and looking at description we're looking for the queen here a lot of these uh, you know we keep pulled out so they're not they're built up pretty decent I mean this one's not drawn out and, and what we do let's see if we can find the queen here Lizzie, the bee dog, she just spotted a hawk. It's flying after my chickens. I can see it from here. There's a lot of hawks in this area. A lot of hawks. Okay, let's see. This frame here has got a little bit of that wild comb. As you can see on it. Hopefully I got this angled right enough at the camera. I just spotted the queen. Of course, she was right going right under that wild comb so let's see if we can coax her out of there she went right in between that crack she's gonna be elusive she's gonna hide bees are working pretty good today it's early it's uh August what is it August 5th 6th and I've noticed the last few years I don't know if people's noticed this too in August it used to be like the hot hot month anymore in August it's starting to actually start cooling down a little bit and I don't think a lot of people notice that how it's it used to be the blistering hot month now it seems like it's July and August, last two or three years, the mornings are cooler. This we're in North Georgia. Okay, there she is, finally. She was going in between the crack right here, you can see. Hopefully I got this camera angled right. She's right here. Okay, right here she is. You can see, I caught her right here. So what I'll do, I'll put her right in the cage. Bump her in the butt. There she goes, right there. She's ready to go. So, now what I'll do, Angle this frame here a little bit where I can catch a, a few of these workers. I missed that one. And pretty cage around here where I can see. I'll keep an eye on her when she goes back that direction. I'll stick the bee in there. 
like that. You don't want to smash her. And I'll put, hopefully got this angled right. Walk, keep an eye on her when she when she walks away. I'll, I'll slip her. I'll slip the, whoop, that and go away. And that one goes. Sometimes I miss. Watch the queen, watch her walk away. Let the worker in there. Okay. That one got me right there, so I'll have to get another one to replace that one because that will die. Use my speed here this morning. Um, I worked last night a little bit. I missed that one as well. I work 12 hour shifts, so I'm just a little bit slow. Do some in the bump there, but. Okay. Push she goes forward. Missed that one. Okay, so we got five in there. Five queens. Put my cork in. She's ready to go. Ready for the customer to pick up. Customer will be here in about 10 minutes. And I'm watching him pulling in the driveway. So that one's ready. So what we do now We'll have to either put a queen cell or a virgin queen from a graft or a new beekeepers. Keep this in mind. You, you don't always have to graft. You don't always have to pick a queen cell. You can do what they call a walk away split. And before everybody starts, or a lot of people start arguing that a queen's made like that or, or inferior, that is not true. I have, I've raised hundreds of queens. And I absolutely see no difference in them because the way I see it is if you graft a queen versus they pick out an egg to make a queen for themselves, who do you think can pick out the, the better egg, you or them? So, but what we do, say if I didn't pull that queen out and I pulled a frame out that was pretty full, maybe that one's got, it's got enough to do a split on it. You may need a few more bees at this stage of the year. But normally when I pull out a frame, a lot of times this is already drawn out, spilled out, you got one good strong frame of bees. All I do, customer just pulled in, so I'm gonna have to hurry. All I, all I have to do is put this into another box and then put it empty in here to replace it. And that's about it. And you know, look for try to get your queen cell in there or a virgin queen if possible. And, and that's about it. I just wanted to share that, go a little bit more. Uh, look in the description. I'm gonna put the, the measurements. I had the measurements on one video, I'm gonna put them on this one too. Well, people will have them. It's very simple, you'll love these things. Uh, the, the little miniature uh, nukes. Is okay if you're a full-time beekeeper and that's all you do. It takes a lot of time and a lot of they the queen will come back, she'll she'll lay eggs, and next thing you know they're swarming that quick. These things here, they stay indefinitely for a long time. They're they really good. They're they're very forgiving, they're easy to work with. Uh, we love these things. They're great for pulling queens out. And I just wanted to share that today and please like and subscribe and thanks for watching Barnyard Bees.